In this, we learn something. 1. An offer is worth more today instead of a later date. The father now offers the son 15 Swiss chocolates. His son now seems interested, but will he accept the offer? Is 15 chocolates the right offer? Or should it be 18 or 13 chocolates? This tells us something. Second, we may choose to wait, but only if we are getting something extra and this extra is subjective. So time does have value. For the man's son, it was in terms of the extra chocolates he would receive. If time had value and this value could be expressed in terms of chocolates, can it not be expressed in terms of money? Now, let us return to what presently interests us, money. What is the time value of money? Let's say a friend wants to borrow a sum of rupees 2 lakhs from you today. He offers to return 2.2 lakhs after a year, a return of 10%. You however expect 2.4 lakhs. Perhaps for him 2.2 lakhs seems fair. However, you feel 2.4 lakhs is what you should ideally get. Here, for decision making is where the concept of TVM becomes important. How do you decide what 2 lakhs will be worth after a year? Or how much 2.2 lakhs or 2.4 lakhs is worth today? So that you could make a decision. How do you calculate an accurate value in today's terms? For the 2.2 lakhs receivable after a year, is it worth 98,753 today or is it worth 2,5789? So, how do we arrive at the value of a certain sum of money which we are to receive in the future? Is there some mechanism that helps us compare the value of something at different points in time? Let us see.